tonight. All right, fine. I know some of you were like, hang on there, Magic Boy. That was way too fast. Let's try that again. Fine, we'll rewind it. Once again, I have here that long piece of rope. I have here that medium piece of rope, that baby piece of rope. Your job is a lot, so try and make the loose all three of these are exactly the same size. One, two, and three. What do you say? Should we give it a show on the road? Yes, you sir, right here, with the glasses. Well, they love you, that's great. What is your name? Nick, Nick, you can stay there, Nick, you're fine, you're fine, Nick. I got this for you, Nick. This, uh, would you hold on to this for me? Yep, hang on to that button, excellent, so cool. All right, so here's the deal, Nick. You now are on the show a little bit. Here's what's gonna happen. Um, throughout the show, I might say your name, Nick. If I do, I need you to spring out of your seat, hold that gold apple above your head, and say, at the top of your lungs, I've got the gold package. <laughs> We're going to practice this one time, right? So I might be doing some magic with these folks. I might be doing some magic with these folks. And I say, hey, Nick. Yes. You've been drinking water too. Yes, you have. Right? 
She'll then take that glass. She'll toss it up into the air. We'll say those magic words. That's a classic. I love it, but tonight let's mix it up. I want you to say true Thomas magic. That's me. Here we go. One, two, three. Shameless social media plug. Thanks. All right. Again, I'll show my hand empty. I'll reach into the bag, right? Empty hand, empty bag. And I shall remove this to your surprise. Yes, indeed, I've got that class. Still a fool in the Oh, come on. Thank you so much. Now, you may notice we have some skeptics here tonight, too, Gina. Ooh, oh, yeah. Here you go, girl. Mm. Right. We got some skeptics here tonight, folks who don't believe, right? I mean, just if I may name one, we got, uh, <laughs> yep, I got right there. See him right there? Got his arms folded, wearing a bow tie, pretending like he's not having fun here. Hang tight. What is your name, sir? Jude? Jude? Hey, Jude. If you want, I want you to verify for these folks that it's indeed actually folded it. Yeah, sure, just put your booger finger in there, Jim. <laughs> Alright, All right, so watch. There we go. I want you to verify this is literally going inside the bag, right? Little, good, good, good. I likewise, as before, she's the eyes and the fingers for everyone to go here. Make sure things are all held up. So again, this is wood squeeze, make sure you feel it. Unmistakable. Good. Okay, it's glass inside of the cloth bag, right? Good, good, good. So watch, let's get Give it one of these. Ooh, like that. I'll turn it all upside down. I grab the glass and remove it. I toss it just like that. You're killing me inside. You're killing me. All right. <laughs> I'll take the bag. Give it several of these. Just about like this. Likewise, I want you to confirm. Am I literally turning this inside out? Right? Inside out. Good. Likewise, before, I want you to give me a nice big high five. Bang. No glass? No glass. Again, reach in. Hold up. Hold up. You got to be careful, Gina. It's down inside here. We have a furry, hairy, eight-legged. You got a tarantula? Do they bite? Well, let's find out. No! You are tough as nails. Holy cow. Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Here, here. No, 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 snake. No, no, tarantula. All right, but here's the thing. Again, they believe I'm taking it out while you weren't looking. So again, check out the sleeve. Anything inside there? Boop. Anything over here? Woo! Oh, my back pockets? Boop. Let's get it. He's like, I'm paying for those screws. I'm taking everything I can. Right? The bag itself. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay. The moment of truth. Would you please stand right here? Thank you very much. I shall very carefully and gently reach around to here just like this. I'd like you to please pinch that just like I'm doing there. There you go. I want you to please look inside. Look inside. No glass. No glass. If you would please let go with your right hand. This has got like a death grip. Do not let go. If you would reach up, grab yourself an imaginary glass. <laughs> well, that was empty. You gotta try another one here. <laughs> Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> Take that glass. Take that glass. Toss it up in the air. Ooh, toss it up in the air. Hey, it bounces off the ceiling. You say those magic words. <laughs> I show my hands absolutely empty. I reach into the bag, all over the very bottom itself, and I shall remove again. What do you look to your surprise? Yes, indeed, I have got me that glass is be still full of water. Here we are talking about being on vacation, making memories, collecting souvenirs. I do not feel you should go home empty-handed. No, of course not, right? right? After all, we were virtually visiting Jamaica. What's in Jamaica? Boom, these are two. Yes, indeed, red stripe. That's also in Jamaica. Come on, let's get up to the Hey, Dick.
Jolene? Like Jolene? Like Jolene? Nice. Thank you. Someone understood me. Okay, good. All right. Jolene, come here. How are you? You good? You good? What's what you have there? What's this? Oh, that's, that's, ooh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, hold on with that. Cool. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Here we go. Here we go. That was nothing. Okay, let's, let's do this. Um, we're going to try something together first, but I need to get, I need to get something. Does anyone here happen to have a quarter that I can borrow? <laughs> I know. It's a cashless society nowadays, but no, seriously. American or Canadian quarter by chance, and maybe just possibly happen to have one. We're digging around to see some officials in the pockets. Anybody by chance? Who's that? Give you? Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, okay. What's your name, sir? Mike? Mike? Can Jolene keep this quarter? <laughs> Jolene! Please give you a quarter. I know, it's not quite like an iPad or anything. <laughs> it, it, it adds up. Uh, so, Jolene, we're going to have you mark this corner so we know it's unique to you. We'll do so using a, one of these, not just any marker. Why, this is a... Magic! Whoa, magic! <laughs> Thank you. I mean, technically written on here, it does say Sharpie. But for many of us, when we were growing up, we called these things magic markers. And we should still be doing this today. I'm going to prove it to you. The next time you get a chance, take yourself a marker, take it, pull the cap off, squeeze, wave, and blow. Boom, the cap will vanish just like that and reappear on the other end, which is the way you call these magic markers. I go. Okay. So anyway, I'll take this, hold up the marker. There you go. And you put a big old J there on the face of your quarter. Mm -hmm. Good. What's your last name? Uh, what's, what letter is that? G. The G there. Excellent. All right. Nice, okay, cool. We'll have a camera kind of zoom as y'all can see that. I did a little reflection there. Right there. There, there's the G. All right, good. And on this one, we see the J. Yeah, good. Excellent. So we know that is uniquely hers. So there you go, follow that, right? Excellent, cool. So here's the deal. Back when I was growing up, my grandfather would occasionally do some magic for me. Now, Grandpa was not the magician per se, but like all good grandfathers, he knows some tricks. Well, this had a huge impact on me. Think about it. Like, I grew up to become a professional magician who was supporting his family, his wife and his children, traveling around the world before he met. Wow. Let's say this way. This is the impact we can have on one another, right? This influence. Here we are this amazing cruise ship, right? People from all over the world. And most of them are from Texas, but anyway. Uh, but they were, I mean, like, seriously, there's different nationalities. I mean, the crew alone, I mean, like, there's like hundreds of different nationalities. Well, as we're passing each other the hallway or the buffet or, or sitting at the show, share that smile, that fist bump, the high five. There is, you just never know, like the energy, the positive energy you can pass on to someone right in their head. Think about this. There is significantly more that we have in common as opposed to what keeps us apart. And right now, more than ever, we need to be coming together. Yeah. So tonight, I'm going to do my own quarter trick here for Jolene. I'm hoping to impress her, to inspire her to where one day she also may become a magician. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> we're going to try this. Jolene, we're going to use your quarter, my can of Pepsi. Check it out.
God, there's no longer with you. But as we all know, the Lord, our loved ones pass on. Not long forever, but is watching us from afar. Grandpa, you have been watching over us here tonight as we make our way down to the Caribbean. Excellent. Alright, so here's the thing. Dory has been, she has been moving the quarter back and forth with her hands. 
It may have been here, then moved there, perhaps back on Roma. But only she knows which hand she's holding the quarter in. Your work is going to assign these animals to your fists. For example, if the quarter is in this hand, you're going to concentrate on here tonight, the tiger. Whereas if the quarter is in this hand, you're going to concentrate on the tortoise. Okay? So, here's the thing. The quarter's here, you're focusing on tiger. The quarter's there, you're focusing on tortoise. I want you to look forward, Mark. I want you to study your body language, sir, to see how well you do with this. I'll say simply tortoise and tiger. Tortoise and tiger. Is anyone picking up on the idea of what animal Dory's thinking of? Tiger! Yeah. All right, it's okay, it's okay. We're getting a lot of mixed signals here, but I think most of you who said something were actually off base. You see, Dory here tonight, I believe, is focusing on the tortoise, which explains why the quarter is in this hand. Is that correct, Dory? Would you turn your hands over and show them? Yes, they boom. There's the quarter right there. Let's give her a last round of applause. Yes? Excellent. Once again? Good, good, good. Good, back, good, 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 good. Let's do another suggestion from all of you. Um, okay, I want, I want to imagine you have a box of crayons in front of you, okay? Those bigger boxes. You've got lots and lots and lots of colors. Um, and I want you to focus on just one of those colors. Could be your favorite color. Actually, preferably, if it is your favorite, that would be better. Concentrate on one color specifically. Okay, I want you to spell that now, like, right in front of your eyes. You can see it, right? And on the count of three, I want you to say these colors. Shout these colors out loud. Here we go. One, two, three. Roar! All right. Thank you, Gilbert. Got it. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. When you're ready, put your hands up front again. Close fists. Close fists. Excellent. So here again, she's going to move in the quarter back, back with her two hands. Only she has any idea which hand she's holding the quarter in. It could have been here. It could have been there. Only she knows. Let's now assign these colors to your hands. If, for example, the quarter's in this hand, you're concentrating on the color pink. If the quarter's in this hand, you're concentrating on the color yellow. Okay? So again, pink, yellow. Pink, yellow. See that color, make it vibrant. Pink, yellow. Okay, did you pick up on that tell? Anyone here see it? No, no. <laughs> you're right, it's pink. She's seeing the pink, which shows the quarter's in this hand. Is that correct, Dory? Turn them over, oh, 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 yes. Indeed, you're right. Good job, good job. Just pick up on it, right? Right, right. Go and get Dory in the round of applause here, too. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So we'll try one more, one more, one more, one more. Uh, go ahead and mix up again behind me, if you would, please. Um, okay, let's do this. I want you all to imagine right now you are listening to maybe some of your old parents' albums, records, okay? Maybe 45 of these are old ones, right? And you're listening to all this music goes back perhaps in the 60s, 70s, maybe back even further to the 50s. I want you to concentrate on the song you're listening to. In fact, I want you to concentrate on the artist you're listening to. Perhaps a male rock star from that era. Tell someone who that might be. Imagine hearing the music in your head, right there in your parents' house, listening to these old records. Kids' records are things we used to listen to music with. Yeah, now it's, they move on. Alright, so on three, on one of these old rock stars. Alright, on the count of three, I want you to shout them out loud. Here we go. One, two, three. Elvis! Elvis? 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 What did you say? Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly, okay. Elvis and Buddy Holly. Excellent. Alright. When you're ready, please bring your hands up in front of you. All right. Now, Dory's been a great student here, if you will, a volunteer, I should say. We really did up here and say, stand here, bear her soul, and just hold her hands out here for you. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to read her body language to get an idea of what she's thinking of. So, for example, the quarter could have been here, it could have been there, moving back, and back, and back, and forth. But only she's the wiser. So, again, let's assign the uh, songs or the student and the singers. Is. So, if, for example, the quarter's in this hand, you're going to concentrate on Buddy Holly. If the quarter's in this hand, you're concentrating on Elvis. Buddy Holly, Elvis. Buddy Holly, Elvis. Mark, do you have any idea who she's thinking of? No clue. How long have you guys been married? Long time. He doesn't have a clue whatsoever. <laughs> well, okay, that's all good. All right, so here we go. Um, anyone here have an idea who she's thinking of? Oh, but you're right. What you say is why the quarter is standing. Open up, open up, open up. Oh, there you go. Once again, she's got it. Just like, come on, give her a round of applause. Yes, 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 yes. So here's the thing. I should have clarified this before we got started. You and I have never met before, correct? That's important. Likewise, um, no one instructed you to play along with me. You tonight, on your own, you thought of uh, tortoise, right? You thought of it. You thought of Ellis. 
you're the driver's seat, yes? Yes. What I want to impress upon you is that poor old Mark over here stands a chance at getting better and anticipating your needs. And how can I possibly prove that to you unless I have proof that I could understand and anticipate your needs before you even express them? How can I do this? I could prove it to you by saying one word. Nick. Have you and I ever met before? No. Has anyone ever asked you to play along with something like this? I would be here. You would be here. Good, good man. <laughs> I'll stand, all right? Nick, you don't have to have another gold package lying around down there, do you? <coughs> no, of course not. Good. <laughs> Nick, would you please hand another picture to me? Folks, let's give Nick a nice round of applause. Isn't that great yes? Yes? So, Dory, if inside of here we have a turtle, a tortoise. It is pink in color, and its name is Elvis. How impressed would you be? Very. Do you believe that that's in fact what's in here? These folks should give us a nice big old standing ovation. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's have a look. Would you kindly remove what you find inside? Let's get the 
to think. However, it's important that the audience knows that we truthfully have never met before, correct? You just said yes, we met before. Have we met before? No. No, thanks very much. All right. Likewise, uh, no one has coached you, no one's told you to play along. This is, this is the first year knowing you've been being involved, correct? Okay, good. Now, um, likewise, we live in a very technological age. I don't want you to believe that somehow I researched and knew they would be here, and then I looked them up on social media, and I've seen uh, Brittany's latest you know, Instagram posts, or Jane's latest TikTok dances, or whatever, right? <laughs> don't do that again. Anyway. <laughs> um, no, no, in fact, I, I, I have not done that. In fact, there's no way that even if I had done their social media, that this is any information I could require had I followed them home. Oh. That's creepy. No. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I've written down a series of thoughts, statements, questions, etc., um, all of which are different. Now, Brittany, I'm going to ask you to help confirm that these are indeed different. Uh, this right here, for example, says, think of a random word, correct? Okay. This here says, think of a naughty memory. Not that way. <laughs> uh, this here says, think of any person, right? As I flip through here, you see these are indeed all different. This here says, think of a sequence. So think of embarrassing memory. Think of a pin code, a song cartoon character, actor, fear, on and on, on. These are the all different, correct? Excellent. Okay. Brittany, if you would, please, I'd like you to just kind of say stop for me. Stop. Okay, good. Harvey, this is for you to look at, only for you to take a peek at. I want you to read that carefully from top to bottom. Don't say anything out loud. This is just for you. I want you to concentrate on this and lock this in your mind. You got it? Good. Jane, your turn, sir. If you kind of please say stop. Okay, good. All right. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I give them, but you did exactly right. Go ahead one time. Okay, good. All right. So, James, just for you, buddy. Only for you, sir. Take a good look at it. You got it? Lock it in your mind. Push everything else. Just concentrate just on that. You got it? Okay. Out of the gate, I believe you're thinking of a person, or is you're thinking of a song? Is that no, or is that yes? Is that yes? Yes? Yes. Okay? All right. Hold on. Brittany. Do you sing? I don't sing. Not even in the car? Going to work? Maybe. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so great. I would like you to pretend so you're on your way to work, let's say, right? And you're singing the song you have in your mind. And you are singing at the top of your mind. You are belting it out, right? You were the hair around it, hands flailing around. Cars are driving by you, looking at you like, what the heck is she on, right? You're singing the song. But here tonight in this room, not a peep. Don't move your lips, don't move your body motions, silent is boom, nothing here. But I do want you to pretend as though you're driving, so put your hands on the wheel, good, buzz the work. You're jamming to the song, top of your lungs. Um, I'd like you to focus on the main part of the song, like the, the part we all might know. I want you to sing it over and over in your head, but don't move your lips, don't give any clues. You hear me sing that phrase again, but again, here's silent, nothing out loud here. Do that again. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Close your eyes, Wood, Brittany, and show them something. I want to, to share with you what I've written down. Don't say anything out loud yet if this is. But this is a song I believe that Brittany Kirby is singing at the top of her lungs as she is buzzing on down the road on the word. And the crowd's going wild next to her as a driving past her wondering what she's doing. Brittany, do you know the name of the artist who sings the song you're singing? Yes. And who is that? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. What is the song that you're singing of hers? Shake it off. Tim, would you kindly stand up where you are? Mm -hmm. 
And Tim, if you would, I want you to hold it flat out in your hand like that. Uh, you can orient it so you can read that. There we go. I want you to put your other hand on top. Good. Now, keep your eyes on with me, if you would, sir. And I want you to start flipping up to the pages. And then look at me. And when it feels good, I want you to stop. And then quickly take a look at where you stop. Lock that in your mind. And close that book back up. You got that? Concentrate on that and nothing else. Um, Tim, let's find someone over here. Actually, I'll here. I'll take it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Maybe so. Yes, right here. Yes. All right. You got it. What's your name? Hmm? Reagan. 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 Take that. You would scan it where you are, Reagan. Good. Reagan, put your hand out there. Not up on top. Good. Hand on top. Excellent. Good. Rise on me. I want to start thumbing up through the pages. When it feels good, I want you to stop. And quickly take a look at where you stop. Read it to yourself carefully. Not out now. Then lock that back up. Good, good, good. All right. Concentrate on that and nothing else. Okay? Okay, cool. And I need to get. I want to get someone over here to help me out too. Up here, someone help me out. Yeah, right there. Right. Go ahead, stand up where you are, sir. This is a big, careful folks. I don't want to hit you. It's coming at you, but I'll throw it good. What's your name? Huh? Devin. Devin. All right, coming at you, Devin. Here goes, buddy. Ooh. Nice. All right. That's it. Nothing's wrong. Okay, how does it work? All right, Devin. Hold it flat out there. Okay, look at me. Put the hand on the top. Good, good, good. Kind of hold over the balcony there to me. So towards me, good, good, good. All right, keep your eyes on me. I want you to start thumbing up to the pages. When it feels good, I want you to stop and take a quick look at where you stop. Lock it in your mind. And good. close that bad boy up. If you would, Devin, please throw that over here to me, sir, on the count of three. There's an 
A in the name of this character. And there's an R in the name of this character. Say the name in your head one more time. Any more time? The first letter of the name is D. You, sir, no. <laughs> you, yeah, you, you, you. You're thinking of, you're thinking of Dora the Explorer. Maybe against your will, you're you thinking. Take a but straight up, you're not not going this far. The first letter is D. And there's an A in there somewhere in the R, and you're not, and you're not messing with for real. Where are you from? Just 